Oh, a man. The perfect boyfriend material. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> you, man, be my boyfriend. I won't repeat myself. I want you to be my boyfriend. No, I want you to be my boyfriend. Well, I'm looking for a good man to be my boyfriend and you fit the bill perfectly. You seem like you would be the perfect boyfriend human. Don't you agree? Come on, I'm sure the two of us have some chemistry together. What? Why? Why do you have serious doubts that we'd be perfect for each other? Okay, so maybe due to the fact that we just met, as well as the fact that I don't know your name or you know mine. But perhaps we can find more about each other? Over dinner, perhaps? It could be a lot of fun getting to know each other. <laughs> Is it really that bad of a thing to be dating a goblin like me? Uh, uh hey, uh, is... Is everything okay? I... Uh... I see. Um... Hey... So... If you want... I know right about now you don't want to think about romance for a while. Do you want to maybe start off as something smaller? Well, perhaps I could be a friend to you to start. After hearing about this, um, how do I put it? Maybe I can start slow. Hard to believe, but I can relate. Sadly, yes. I had a boyfriend up until a few weeks ago. Found out he fell out of love with me. Could have ended much worse. Uh, right now? Yes. I guess jumping back into the market, to coin a phrase, isn't the wisest choice I could have made. Look, if you want me to leave, I will. Sorry for interrupting your sulking there. Wait, what for? Is it okay for me to stay? I mean, I guess, if you really want me to stay. What do you want me to do exactly? I get it, you don't have to say anything. I bet this is what you wanted, right? Figured as much. If you want to let it out, I won't stop you. Man, this guy must have really been through a rough breakup. I guess he really did need this. Um, say, if it's okay with you, could I ask something of you? Since you're not really up for looking for a relationship right now, Perhaps we could start... <clears throat> smaller. If that's okay with you, of course. I won't force you to be my friend. T timid? Uh, me? What do you mean by that? Well, it's just that after seeing you like this, this doesn't seem appropriate of me demanding I be your friend. In a similar note that I was demanding a boyfriend. You don't have to accept, though. Really? You're okay with this? Even though I started on arguably the worst note you could start on? Whoa! 
Whoa! Not gonna lie, I didn't see that coming. Mind if I ask why, though? I mean... Yeah, I can see that. If I continued to push and demand, it probably wouldn't have ended as well as it should have. So... Friend... Whoa! I guess we got a hugger here! <laughs> By the way, the name's Klez. What's yours? Nice to meet you. Don't feel like you have to hold in all that emotion. I may be small, but my shoulder is always big enough for a friend to cry on. Or just embrace. Anyways, I'll leave you here for a moment, just for you to gather your thoughts. I'm sure we'll meet again, friend. Where do I live? Oh, you know, some dark, damp cave and all. I, I, I'm kidding, of course. I actually live in one town over. I work at a local inn, mostly behind the counter. Hard to believe a goblin cooking, huh? No need. There's some truth to the stereotype that goblins can be... primitive. I like to try to learn how to cook as to lure any good men my way. And I do mean, learn to cook. Not just follow recipes. Something I had to learn the hard way. Perhaps another time. Until then, hope you feel better. Yeah, I'll admit. It seems weird for me to just go out searching for a boyfriend only to go away again. Tell you what, if you ever head over to the inn, I'll explain in more details why I needed a boyfriend. Over a pint? My treat. Good. Until next time, friend. <laughs>